Hi, hi and welcome back. Welcome to episode 2 of Vampire Survivors. First of all, we can use the coins we gathered in the last run, or the last episode, which consists of just one run, so both utterances are actually of equal value. But we can use those coins that we gather to buy some upgrades. You can buy, well, you buy keywords like area, armor, might, which is just more damage, yeah, for sure. But they do use the icons of the passive items again, doesn't matter for me though. I'm just gonna read through all of these and I'll hit you guys up once i decided what i want to buy i mean please comment what i should buy and then i will uh act on those comments for sure i think i'm definitely gonna spend one point on recovery because i don't think that we have any recovery otherwise so just having one in this might be good already as you can see when you purchase one of them the price of course increases the first upgrade was only 200 coins, but if I would like to upgrade it again, it's already 440 coins. So that's quite a steep increase. Seems to e increase exponentially. And this, of course, yeah, I thought like one more projectile, that's insane, but it costs 5,500 coins. So you know what? I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to invest into growth, into greed, not growth, but greed. So we will get more coins quicker next time. All right, there we go. The scaling can increase even more. We haven't unlocked any of the other characters yet. We did unlock the library, if I'm not mistaken, but it doesn't seem... Yeah, yeah, we did unlock the library. First of all, let's just get back into the forest and try to complete this, huh? Oh, right, I was gonna get the damage numbers out of here as well, and I'm gonna move my mouse off screen this time because I think that it was on screen the entire time last episode. Soundtrack kind of bussing though, kind of banging. How have you guys been doing? It's weekend right now, Saturday. Saturday for me when I'm recording this. Don't know when you are watching this. I had a nice week. It was a bit hectic as always. Oh, yeah, every week is hectic when you're doing the internship that I'm doing, but it was a lot of fun still. Do we want a knife? Do we want the birds? Let's go for the birds. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go with an area of effect build. Pretty loud though, that bird, but that's fine. You just have to get used to that. As I said, every week is just hectic at my internship. Everybody's agenda is just filled to the brim. Everybody has things to do all the, the, all the time, each day. And it's no different for us interns. Always busy on something. Whether it's preparing for a conversation, actually having a conversation, giving a group, giving group sessions, which are not really group therapy, but still are done in group. Uh, if we're going for area we might want to go with x you know because high area scaling we're gonna try to get some area scaling in there our last build had x's as well if i am not mistaken but that was already like seven days ago so i can't remember that all that well i do believe we had x's and then we also had knives maybe i think maybe we had knives and i think we reached like minute 13 i think so and we died to some werewolves which are of course very strong enemies that take a lot of hits right now we're trying to get this champion down and then we will be a-okay everything will be coming up millhouse we'll get a nice little upgrade out of that make ourselves a little stronger probably aiming to upgrade our whip as soon as possible to get it on both sides because having that whip on both sides is really something that is fundamental to your success really needed for it we just keep getting new items let's go for fire wand we unlocked that last episode and i know that we need spinach to upgrade that for the bird to upgrade we need the other bird and for let's upgrade the fire wand for the fire wand to upgrade we need spinach for the bird the other bird for the x we need the the chandelier or the chandler chan chan chandler chandler ch chel chan chandelabra something like that probably for the knife we have not taken the knife right no for the knife we would have needed bracers but that's not in the question for now and then finally for the uh for the no that's it nothing else <laughs> No, for the whip. For the whip, we need like the black heart that increases your max health. I have no idea what the name is and I can't really think clearly about it right now because as you can hear in the commentary, probably my mind is being completely flooded, just like the screen. Try and get some of this XP that I left behind earlier. There we go. We can, of course, always destroy the torches in the hope of finding, well, a coin is always nice to get some upgrades next time, but in the hope of finding some upgrades. I don't know what that was. That was kind of like a pink bag. No idea what that did for us, but that's fine. There we go. Let's yeah, exactly this hollow heart. I'll try to remember the name. Uh, I'll buy it as well because that makes our whip upgrade possible once it has reached level eight. Really starting to get a feel of these games of this game's mechanics a bit more. Watch the new Norland episodes on it as well, of course, because I am a devote watcher, a devote content devourer. Devout. Devout. Fuck.
it's just a great series to fall asleep to as well because he can just ramble on because he doesn't have to talk about gameplay because the gameplay is just a mess you know there's not that much to talk about my girlfriend is finally done with her exam she started watching this series or well the first episode i put out and she said that this game has a lot of pew pew in it and i can't agree more that's a very accurate description a lot of pew pew almost four minutes in right now everything is still going a-okay i do feel like the life regeneration that we purchased is like really really minimal clock lancet also a new item chance to freeze enemies in time for now i'm just gonna keep upgrading that fire one baby definitely look out for the items that are the upgrades for or that are the re prerequisites for the upgrades for the weapons that we possess right now so that is the chandelabra i was talking about the hollow heart we already have and we definitely still need spinach for the fire wand upgrade i feel like I fire our fire wand is definitely the strongest item we have so far and i do feel like those projectiles benefit from the area scaling that we would like to go for as well for our dove or pigeon or whatever the white bird is called what's your favorite type of animals i'm talking about like the the five major types i don't know them by heart but you have like reptiles you have amphibians you have birds you have mammals probably fish it might be all five now come to think of it or maybe like things like clams and stuff are a different category altogether i'm not sure about that let's upgrade our whip finally get that behind us as well it's a difficult question right do you have like a, an answer right now? Something that comes to mind immediately? I think that a lot of people might go for mammals because they include cats and dogs. And a lot of people have cats and dogs as their favorite animals for sure. Probably because it's also the type of animal that they get encountered with in their daily life the most. So they can have the most pleasant experience with those animals. A lot of factors can contribute to what makes something your favorite type of animal, you know? It's beauty. For cats and dogs, it's probably more utility or being able to play with them. You actually get some value out of their existence. But I think beauty could also be a major factor in what you decide upon for the answer to that question it's a very difficult one i think fish fish are automatically excluded sure there's some cool fish but the sea is a scary place you know and i think that there's for fuck's sake a fucking crow grin always interrupting you know what you know what i'll just mute my discord right now Krogan, if you are watching this, you are a piece of shit. You can clearly see that I am recording a game and he explicitly said, hey YouTube, so he knows damn well what crime he is committing. Violating the Geneva Convention like that, it'll get you locked up, man. Chest, 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 let's loop around. There's too many ugly looking fish. I'm sorry to all my fish people watching these videos, but there's too many ugly looking fish that just kind of makes the category excluded for me in general. And I know I don't have to overgeneralize like that, but when you think about birds, I don't think about like oh yeah there's 20 different kinds of really disgusting birds we can't include that category in our rankings birds are generally generally quite beautiful majestic a lot of birds are definitely majestic my mouse is on the screen again an x upgrade and 69 coins that's pretty nice I feel like mammals have the most variety in them you know another argument against fish definitely is that the most beautiful fish in my opinion or one of the most beautiful intelligent species as well is dolphins and they are not even fish they are mammals as well so haha <laughs> fish suck on that if somebody says fish you should really check if they are okay because like what's going on in their life that they decide that fish is their favorite type of animal doesn't seem right to me but yeah mammals have a lot of diversity in them you know cows are mammals horses are mammals cats and dogs uh dolphins as i just said but also things like elephants giraffes zebras lions mammals are such a diverse category and there's something to like for everyone in the mammal in the mammal category i think but i feel like reptiles and amphibians are definitely the coolest category you know they have the the nicest quirks they have all these special things about them they have for example like really warm or really cold blood or they are poisonous those tiny little poisonous frogs i really really like those they are very beautiful always because they are so brightly colored and frogs are amphibians amphibians right they are not reptiles reptiles is more like snakes and lizards if i'm not mistaken which are also beautiful animals especially lizards snakes a bit less i'm not afraid of snakes but i wouldn't describe them as being like this beautiful animal snakes no no i think that too many people are afraid of snakes to answer that as well is insects are they taken into account for this question and arachnids like spiders and scorpions i don't think they are right i think that if people consider them to be their favorite animal they are probably parasocial like absolute weirdos 
which is of course very short-sighted of me because some of those animals can surely be beautiful and everybody has the right to have their own preferences but i mean if you scorpions all right but if because they are very cool and coolness is also a big factor in this story but if you say like oh spiders are so beautiful they are my favorite animal of all time i think you're definitely going to be in the minority still though you do you i mean i'm only judging a little bit for comedic value but in real life i wouldn't actually be judgmental but i would probably kind of uh, engage in a healthy discussion a healthy discussion and ask you what the fuck is going on inside the twisted brain of yours but i would keep it with a healthy discussion you know i noticed that these two champions keep coming back so that kind of answers the question that i have about unit generation i was wondering whether units just kept being generated or if the same units kept being repeated and the same two champions coming back time and time again really emphasizes the fact that it's probably the second option that the units come back so the screen gets flooded if you don't kill enough units these bats are so strong, man. They take so many hits. I feel like we don't have the damage to deal with them right now, let alone the champions. I really want to get those chests, of course, because they would increase our damage by, by a mile, but I don't have the strength to plow my way through the champions. I do have the strength to plow my way through your mom, though, so at least I got that going for me, but that's not really gonna help me in this game. Only 100 coins, no upgrades for me this time around. Let's jump straight back into it, and this video will have two runs. Let's try again. Gotta keep going in that forest, though. I feel like we, we were not really doing anything that special. Our build was not that good, and that's definitely our own fault. I shouldn't take that damage. That's very easy damage to avoid. Don't get lazy with it. Don't get lousy. So fish are excluded. I feel like some people might forget the existence of birds because they are of course all government drones so maybe we can exclude birds as well i think reptiles are too scary for a lot of people so that leaves mammals and amphibians i i definitely suppose most people would just go for mammals if i ask them that let's get back on fire one track i was really liking our fire one last last run maybe we should buy a bit less items at the start and try to get that fire one to level eight as soon as possible and look for that spinach of course i'm quite quite sure we have unlocked spinach already otherwise i'm making a big fool out of myself but that's part of life you know and if you don't dare to make a fool out of yourself you're never gonna enjoy everything that life has to offer let's get the magic wand as well some projectiles you know if we now get items that make our uh, weapons fire more projectiles we will be golden the wo world will be our oyster i feel like the answer to the question would also definitely not only be influenced by animals you have the most experience with being mammals being cats and dogs or maybe far and an farm animals if you live in kind of like a, a farm environment but i think that it will also be influenced by just emotional emotional experiences and memories on that front i think that a lot of people will think like oh favorite animals well my favorite animal will forever be my dog blackie blackie is a very common dutch name for dogs it's probably it might sound racist if you're not familiar with that practice but don't worry it's just a common a common name for them around here around these parts of the world already got our whip upgrade this time around we're already firing it out of our ass as well that's definitely gonna help us out a lot by clearing out pads in front of us and behind us so we can go both ways the most important thing is not going left or right of course but as Fleetwood Max tells us, the most important thing is going your own way, of course. So having a whip that fires in both directions makes it easier for you to decide where your own way is for you. I'm definitely gonna have to look up what magic wand is upgraded by because I don't know at all. If we get to that point where that becomes important, of course. Yeah, no, I really don't know. I'm scouring the depths of my mind palace to kind of get back into Northern Lions videos, get into my memories about those. Let's see, let's see. Four a magic wand we need the empty tome empty tome does not sound like something we have unlocked at all am i mistaken in that i really can't remember empty tone being something that we unlocked let's upgrade our fire wand for now i believe yeah that's gonna be the best course of action for us and this is more in line with our first build in the first episode it's very focused on two or even one specific weapon for this time it's just both wands we're not branching out we're focusing all our assets on one domain that has been successful to us in the past, so it might be successful to us again in the future. We're like Apple making the same phone for the 50th time and selling it for $200 extra each iteration. And people are just like, hell yeah, hell yeah, that's all you had to say. Let me spend all my hard-earned cash on this. This piece of equipment that I will probably drop the next time that I get out of my car to get my iced pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. But don't you worry, man. The repair for the bursted screen is only 
one kidney and then we're gonna need to confiscate one of your children as well yeah that's the small price you have to pay for restoring an iphone if you can tell i have some struggles with apple sure they make some amazing products they're there i can't deny that and for a lot of, of a lot of uses they are probably best out there spinach there we are all right i chose spinach over the fire wand there because we definitely need spinach to upgrade our fire our fire wand and having the fire wand upgraded one more level right now will be beneficial for it but spinach is more of a a, a, a wide range it's more of a a, a broad upgrade because it upgrades our other weapons as well that let's get that fire wand up there though level eight then we need a chest and then we will get an upgraded fire wand i'm gonna start calling the the like the new versions of the items i'm gonna start calling them the evolved items so upgrade means going up one tier just a regular upgrade that you can choose when you level up or that you can find in a chest and evolved really means the new version of the weapon i don't believe we achieved any of those in the first episode so you guys don't even know what I'm talking about, but I'll try to show it off in this one, of course. You know what? Let's let's be controversial. Let's get the attractor. Let's be lazy. Let's have that good suck around us. What the hell was I talking about? Right, Apple products. They're great for a lot of things, for editing pictures, for taking pictures, for recording and editing videos. I feel like GarageBand is also quite a, quite a powerful tool for creating music. They have a lot of great features, that's for sure, but man are they overpriced don't mind if i get another whip up there it's already level four or five so if we look for that hollow heart as well we might get a whip upgrade or the evolved whip the whip evolution i just said that i would pay attention to what i call it and then i called it the other thing my attention span is that of a teaspoon just like ron's emotional range of harry potter if you get that reference 10 points to gryffindor i mean two respect points for you the point system in harry potter is something that has been heavily critiqued right by a bunch of people and i think that's pretty justified because it's complete bullshit gryffindor could literally like kick dumbledore in his nuts while slytherin was developing the cure to cancer and dumbledore would in the end still be like mm, 2523 points to gryffindor for their house logo being red and red being my favorite color oh the dopamine the dopamine oh my trip is getting into medium erect territory right now so you guys better watch out let's see triple chest two fire ones and a whip upgrade awesome 218 coins as well it's quite a lot now that i know how much some of those upgrades cost i am definitely gonna value that co those coins a bit more i think the purple bags that we find on the ground sometimes when destroying the the torches are also contributing to just our coin balance they might be like 50 or 10 or something look at the schmooze god damn i got the moves like jagger if you know what i'm saying let's see we have 304 golden coins right now i'm gonna pick up this bag in a second uh 12 that's so weird maybe it's a random number between like 10 and 20 but i'm just spitballing i could look it up but it's not an important detail for you guys to know to enjoy the game so i'm just gonna play on a lot of things in the harry potter universe are sadly critiqued by a lot of people i think they look at the details a bit too much definitely something i can do as well in a bunch of other movies i'm doing it right now in la casa de papel the famous money heist show we're watching on netflix every single detail that seems like a bit out of place or not logical i like critique for some reason it's probably not fun for my girl so i'm sorry about that but that's just part of my character but i feel like a lot of people do it with harry potter as well and one of the main elements that comes to mind when i start rambling on about that topic is the time travel mechanic they introduced in the prisoner of azkaban of course spoiler alert but if you haven't watched harry potter by now just pause the video and go watch all of them because of the the, the time travel argument that gets brought up every time a story introduces time traveling and that is like why don't they just go back in time and kill the main antagonist you know and the rhetoric that always gets given the counter argument is that it would mess up the timeline or it might be unethical or that time travel doesn't work that way but they then cannot explain why it doesn't work that way i know that my buddy berglucht got his name correctly this time don't have to patch any audio over it when i'm saying it but i know that he also dislikes the idea of time travel in stories in general it's something we talked about in our harry potter podcast i think well our episode of the podcast about harry potter which is in dutch sadly so you guys can't enjoy it another trip Cool. Back to back? Nope, but still fine. Another tactic in this game, by the way, is to get your weapon up to level 8 and leave the chest lying on the ground until you get to that point. Because then you get a guaranteed upgrade, I believe. That's at least what Northern Lion tells me. Man, the whip is really getting up there. I definitely should have taken the hollowed heart right there, because uh, if we don't get that, our whip won't get evolved. 
But yeah, he doesn't like the concept of time travel as well because it just introduces so many loopholes and I, I can't do anything but agree. But I still think that it's a cool concept, you know, the time turner that Hermione was given. Of course, there's some loopholes, there's some plot holes, there's some intricacies that are being ignored when introducing a concept like that that could really change up the complete story. But just think about it, like that girl is so driven to learn about everything that she can and all the diverse topics at once that she is given a literal time travel device that could alter space, time and just reality in general just so she can follow more classes. Isn't that like something original? Something cool? I definitely enjoy it. Jacob Rowling, good job on that. Not so much on the transphobia and stuff like that, but on the time turner, good job on that. I'll say it because nobody else dares to say it. If you really, really want your mind messed up by time travel mechanics, you should watch Predestination or try to watch it. Just try to like understand that story because man, <laughs> that's really a... Uh... Confusing is not the right word because it doesn't convey the confusion as much. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not regular confusion that you uh, acquire by watching that story. It's not just hitting yourself in your confusion confusion and taking damage that the other Pokemon can win. No, it's like literally questioning what the hell life is about and what is reality and what is not. That's what that movie does to your brain. It's been a while since I watched it, but I can remember that I kind of enjoyed it. So I'm not completely against you watching it. That's not what I'm trying to get at, but grab yourself a cup of coffee and make some time free in your agenda because that movie might mess you up a bit. Just getting that spinach up there, you know, we're dealing a bunch of damage. A hollowed heart would definitely be welcome though, not only because of the VIP upgrade that's coming up, but also just because of the increased max health, we could definitely use that because we're taking some hits. I feel like the skeleton swarm is coming in in a couple of seconds, so we need to be prepared for that as well. That is when peak movement has to be achieved, because if you don't achieve peak movement at that point, speak of the devil, if you don't achieve peak movement at this point, you are done for, my man. You can just pick up your bags and leave. I'm not achieving peak movement, I can tell you that much. Oh, man. I understand why Northern Lion dies a lot of the times when he reaches this point because it is just difficult it's just plain difficult you can't really wrap your head around it any other way shape or form it's just a difficult part of the game my brain is melting we're managing though we're managing but that's what i said last time before the werewolf showed up whip is uh, at level seven or eight right now so there's definitely definitely a very very big chance that we might see the evolution this time around and i'm not gonna spoil what that evolution does or looks like we will just find out and if we don't find out this episode we will find out in the next episode i actually plan to record some more videos in this game but not make it like an endless series i'm not gonna record 25 episodes in it that would be career suicide if you get oh man if you get that reference the career suicide about making too many videos in one game you you get infinite respect points you won the one person that might get that is better looked maybe but he probably doesn't either. No cheating, so if you didn't get it before and don't claim your respect points, but it's something Northern Lion said in one of his first The Binding of Isaac videos on YouTube, that if he kept playing that game, it would be career suicide. And look at where we are now, probably like almost 10 years later and he's, 10 years later and he's still going strong. He has toned it down a little bit over The Binding of Isaac videos, and that's just because his kit duty has been really... <coughs> excuse me, taken a lot of time and a lot of effort and he doesn't find the time to record Isaac all the time anymore, which is quite sad because how the hell am I going to fall asleep now? But as I said, I use vampire survivors to fall asleep, for example, or there's still a lot of super auto pets content as well that I can use. 13 minutes, we're probably approaching our record from last time because I do think that I remember these ghost swarms fucking me over, just like they might do right here. All right, it was nice knowing you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> I am so dead. Empty tome. That's what is to. That's what's needed to upgrade our magic wand, right? Let's just get it because it seems good as well. Holy Jesus, Mother Maria! I'm not gonna say things like we're doing fine because I realized that I said that last time just before I died. So I'm just gonna stay real, stay real with y'all, real with my OGs. We're definitely gonna have to try to loop around a little bit because I'm afraid that we're just leaving behind all the experience that we gathered and that's not gonna help us. Well, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, defeat a total of 5,000 enemies, the lightning ring. And get the fire one to level 4, Arca. Alright, some new unlocks. I presume Arca is gonna be the character that starts with the fire one. Oh, you need to pay for to unlock them. So we've un already unlocked all of these people, but we just need to pay some coins. 
Uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep powering up. I'm gonna let the character unlocks be something for after we get like our first win, for example. I would really like that. Let's get some faster projectile movement. Yeah, that's just what I decided upon randomly. And we will see the effects of that upgrade in the next episode, episode 3. Thanks a lot for sticking by. Um, well, I do realize that when I record two runs in one video, they're going to be a bit longer. But it's not going to be out of proportion. I def I'm definitely going to edit some of my flips out there as well. But I feel like my commentary was quite on par this time. Yeah, quite proud of myself. Really happy for taking the time to record some more. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice week. I'll see you in the next one. And bye-bye. Uh, That's the thing I have to say as last, of course. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye is the classic. Bye-bye is kind of weak shit, you know? You gotta get that B in there. You, you have to B. Emphasize the bye-bye. That's the important part. The bye-bye. Otherwise, how will they know that the episode is ended, man? That's my trademark ending. What the hell am I doing?